Hello everyone, back to today's second video, doing a weekend forecast for today's second video. So as always, on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. Now, some of the weekend forecasts sort of blend into uh, the memory and kind of forgettable. Some of them do stand out. This is going to be one of those that stand out because we are in for our coldest week uh, for three years. We're going to have our coldest week since the last week of February 2018. There's going to be bitterly cold easy winds. There will be snow around in places as well. The detail on that, of course, is to be determined. Devil is always in the detail. Um, with snow, uh, but there will be snow around. There's going to be severe night frost. Daytime temperatures will struggle to get much above freezing through most of this uh, week. And uh, there's going to be a lot of ice and, you know, weather hazards around. So it is going to be uh, a very interesting weekend forecast. This one, I think it's fair uh, to say, and I shall get on it for you in a moment. Just say that the, uh, the detail with this is very uncertain. So I expect day by day changes as we go through the week. You know, there will be there will be changes to this forecast. This is just how things are looking today. But the detail on this will change, especially later on in the week. More about that later. The first video released today was the ECM day, yeah, 42 day forecast. I've uh, got your 10 to 14 down with all our regular features coming up for you later on uh, this afternoon. I've got a channel members live stream to do at 5. I'm going to try and get Snowwatch updated tonight as well. So it's going to be a very, very busy day uh, today. Please smash your like button if you're enjoying uh, the content. Uh, thank you so much to weatheroutlook.com and also wettercentral.d for supplying uh, the charts. Thank you so much, both websites, for doing that and the charts of the data. Right, this is it then. This is how the radar picture is currently looking. Uh, precipitation is gathering in the east. This is the beginning of the onset of the easterly winds. So uh, we've got snow across eastern parts of Scotland. Mostly rain coming further southwards through uh, eastern England and down into East Anglia. There's been a lot of dry weather through much of western Scotland, Northern Ireland, many parts of uh, central western England Wales. There has been some heavy showers around South Wales into southwestern parts of England. If we have a look at the precipitation type, you can see that we have got uh, sleet and snow here across eastern parts of Scotland. That's where the cold easy winds are remaining. It's been cold all week uh, across much of Scotland. Um, dew points look like that, so you can see that the cold air is dinging in. It's there across the north of Scotland. Further southwards, the dew points are well above freezing, so that's why at the moment we're talking about rain. But as the easy wind picks up overnight uh, or through the southern into tonight, um, we're going to find more of that precipitation turning to snow. Here's today's uh, synoptic pressure pattern. So we've got a lot of blocking uh, to our north. That's the reason that we're pulling in these cold, easy wings. But trigger low, been talking about this all week. There's the trigger low finally moving down into France. As it slips southwards, it's allowing these easy wings uh, to uh, push in, courtesy of all of this blocking that's sitting uh, between Greenland and Scandinavia. The isobar strengthening this afternoon from the east. So, for the rest of this afternoon, many west areas are going to be dry uh, with bright or sunny spells. Uh, eastern areas will have cloud and outbreaks of rain, sleet and snow uh, across uh, eastern parts of Scotland. That rain, sleet and snow will gradually start to push westwards along with those strengthening easterly winds. By the end of the afternoon, I think we'll see some of the rain turn to sleet and snow through northern England. Possibly by this, uh, by this evening, we see some sleet and snow coming down in towards the Midlands as well. Rain further southwards uh, of that. Uh, temperatures ranging from just freezing across northern Scotland to around 8 degrees at the moment down in southern parts of England. But as that east wind picks up this afternoon, those temperatures will tend to fall away, uh, if anything. Through the course of this evening, we're going to find outbreaks of rain, sleet and snow pushing further westwards and southwestwards across uh, other parts of the country. Behind that, uh, we're going to see uh, clearer skies developing, but then that east wind really starts to uh, get up. It's going to, be, it's going to be a cold, icy easterly wind. And by the end of the night, this area of low pressure here, named Storm Darcy by UK Met, Met Aaron, and also the uh, Dutch Weather uh, Service, will bring out 
operates a sleet and snow in towards East Anglia and South East England. There will be some significant and disruptive snow uh, coming in uh, with that as well, along with a gale force or near gale force east to north east wind. That's generally going to be to the east of London uh, through the course of tonight. Other areas will have snow showers across eastern Scotland and many parts of uh, eastern England. Again, some of those will be quite ha uh, quite heavy. The driest weather will be through uh, western parts of the country once we get rid of that more persistent band of rain, sleet and snow. And that could bring like a dusting of snow to almost anywhere really through the course of tonight. Going to be a very cold night as that easy wind picks up. It'll feel bitterly cold uh, with temperatures uh, going down to around freezing in many areas, well below freezing in the northwest where we're sheltered from that wind and we have uh, clear skies. Watch out for ice on untreated roads and pavements tonight. Well, certainly it's going to be a bitterly cold day. High pressure will be blocking between Greenland and Scandinavia. We're pulling in a long fetch, easy wind, so it's bound to be cold. Uh, and there'll be snow coming in with those easy winds as well. So persistent outbreaks of snow will continue through much of the day across East Anglia and South East England. We might get up to around 20 centimetres of snow over high ground in that uh, far southeastern corner. Some of those snow showers uh, or, or periods of snow, showery snow, I suppose, uh, will push through to parts of the Midlands as well. But here it'll tend to be lighter. The heavy stuff will really be through East Anglia, South East England. Go further northwards, we'll have snow showers uh, up the eastern side of the country again, particularly towards the east coast, but also pushing inland too. So snow showers through eastern uh, England and up into eastern and southeastern Scotland as well. The driest of the weather will be through central and western regions, but even here a few snow showers might get blown through on those strong and bitterly cold easterly winds. Temperature tomorrow will range, uh, will, will range from like uh, either side of freezing, uh, really. So some places will stay around minus one all day. One or two areas might get up to plus one or plus two. But add on that easy wind and it will feel uh, bitterly cold uh, once again. That's how things are looking on Monday. Another really bitterly cold day with this long fat cheesy wind still blasting uh, through the country. So Monday will be a very cold day. We'll have more snow showers uh, across eastern parts of the country. A big unknown with this is how many snow showers there are and how far inland they push. The models are never very good at picking out snow showers. And small features like little convergence lines can get those snow showers a long way inland, unexpected to the model output. So it really will be a case of watching the forecast, both nationally and locally, day by day, to see what's happening with these snow showers. We will have uh, snow showers on the east side of the country. We'll probably get rid of those longer spells of snow from East Anglia and South East England, but there will still be snow showers pushing through, and snow streamers could set up, like we could get a snow streamer uh, through uh, the Thames, for example, um, uh, and again, they can deposit significant amounts of snow as well. The driest weather will be across western parts of the country once again, but with the strength of the east winds, you would not be ruling out the chance of snow showers pushing through to some western areas uh, as well. Should be plenty of sunshine outside of snow showers, but it'll be a bitterly cold day. Temperatures stay around freezing all day uh, through most parts of the country. Tuesday brings a little area of low pressure into the south. All sorts of headaches uh, with that, or towards, towards the south, I should say. All sorts of headaches with that low pressure. So we may see outbreaks of snow across southwest England. Some of that might push uh, through southern counties. Alternatively, that might just give us a glancing blow and head off into France. So all eyes on that uh, for those of you in the south and the southwest. Otherwise, we're in a strong, cold easy wind again uh, on Tuesday, bringing in more snow showers to eastern parts of the country. Some of those snow showers might push inland at times as well. The driest, brightest of the web will always be in the west and in the northwest too. It'll be another bitterly cold day. Uh, temperatures again hovering around, freezing all day. Some places probably getting no higher but around minus one or minus two. And if we add on the uh, strong, which is still a strong easy wind, it will feel even colder than that, a high wind chill factor uh, through the early part of this week. Into Wednesday, uh, the high pressure just begin to reach down across the country a little bit more. So the wind becomes lighter, snow showers probably become confined to eastern coastal areas and turn lighter as well. So Wednesday should be a mostly dry day. Um, I would have thought there's a fair amount of sunshine coming through 
on Wednesday as well. It will be a very cold day as the winds become that little bit lighter. We'll have a severe frost on Tuesday night. Temperature probably going down to minus 10, 14 Fahrenheit um, in, uh, in, in uh, northern and rural areas and particularly where we've got snow come, might go under minus 10. So severe cold start to uh, Wednesday with a severe frost. Otherwise, I think quite a lot of dry weather with plenty of sunny spells. But despite the sunshine, temperatures will probably stay below freezing all day in many areas. The best we can expect is probably in the far south and southwest up to around sort of one, two degrees. But I think the bulk of the country will stay below freezing uh, on, uh, on Wednesday with uh, some areas probably no better but around minus 2 or minus 3 degrees. And then we go through into Thursday, and this is when we start getting a high degree of uncertainty. High pressure is still there over Scandinavia, but at the same time, low pressure is trying to come in from off the Atlantic. Potentially, these scenarios can dump a lot of snow, but it is dependent on how far in the low pressure and its weather fronts get on uh, Thursday, because a battle is taking place. I think we start Thursday mostly dry with a severe frost, but through the day we'll find that southeasterly wind picking up. It'll be a very icy wind as well, uh, and outbreaks of snow uh, will develop through uh, Northern Ireland, Wales, and southwestern England. With the strengthening southeast wind, there could be drifting of that snow in places as well. Most central, northern, and east areas will probably stay dry, except for snow showers down the east coast. A bitterly cold day. Temperatures again holding around or below freezing all day. Add on that strengthening south wind and it really is going to feel very, very bitter. By the end of the day, we might see that snow turn to rain in the extreme southwest corner as the temperature edges up to around 2 or 3 degrees. But this is highly uncertain because this low pressure might slip away to the south and we might just keep it very cold but mostly dry under the area of high pressure. That south wind will come Friday morning. Again, you see how this weather front and the low pressure is really struggling uh, to get in. So we may start Friday with outbreaks of snow across England and Wales. But again, it is highly, highly uncertain this. If we do start with outbreaks of snow across England and Wales, I expect most of it will slip away to the south uh, through the course of the day into France. To mostly dry and it'll be very cold with that south wind continuing. We might bring another band of sleet and snow into Northern Ireland and parts of Scotland. That's something else to watch so the end of the week. Notice there is lots of mites and maybes around this late week period. It will be another very cold day. Temperatures hovering around or below freezing all day. Most parts of the country, a strong south east wind will make it feel bitterly cold. The far southwest might get into milder Atlantic air, but again, that is uncertain. If it does, temperatures could go to around 4 or 5 degrees. I'm um, heading to next weekend, but latest model output is really strengthening the Scandinavian high uh, once again. So that's how the Scandinavian high looks on Friday, up to around 1,040 millibars. But by Saturday, it's going back up to around 1,050 1,055 millibars. And this looks like it's increasing the easterly wind and threatening to bring even colder air in from the east, if you can uh, believe it. So there's, his, again, high amount of uncertainty for next weekend. But we could see that easterly wind starting to freshen up. And if the easterly wind does freshen up and that Scandinavian high does get up to around 1,055 millibars, we might start to drag even colder air back in from the east. And again, there'll be an increasing risk of snow from the east as well. A lot to keep an eye on, a lot to keep an eye on through the second half of the week and into next weekend. Find just having a look at charts from the weather outlook. Uh, so this is how things. And we're going to have more about that in our ten to fourteen day update. By the way, uh, find just having a look at charts from weather outlook. Well, this situation today: snow uh, developing across Scotland through the course of this afternoon. Rain further south was into the evening. We're going to find more of that rain turning to snow on the eastern side of the country and running down into parts of England and Wales as well. Overnight tonight, uh, we'll see the outbreaks of rain, sleet and snow pushing uh, westwards across England and Wales. Heavy snow developing in the southeastern corner by the end of the night. Into tomorrow, 
It's going to be a bitterly cold day uh, with temperatures holding uh, around freezing through much of the day. There'll be snow showers in these eastern areas. Outbreaks of persistent and heavy snow again in this East, Ang in this East Anglia and southeastern corner. More snow showers in the east on Wednesday. The driest weather will be out in the west. You see temperatures again hovering around or below freezing all day in most areas. Snow showers continuing in the east on Thursday along the very cold easy wind. Could be some persistent and heavy outbreaks of snow in the south and the southwest, but alternatively that might just head down into France on Tuesday. Wednesday is probably a mostly dry day, but there will be a severe frost early and late, and snow showers will continue to pepper those eastern coasts. And then into Thursday, outbreaks of snow may push eastwards across uh, England and Wales and Northern Ireland as well. Mostly dry probably uh, for Scotland. Another very cold day coming up. Perhaps a little bit less cold across some of these southern southwestern areas on Friday. Um, but still a high amount of uncertainty in eastern and northern areas look very very cold. I think really we have to say that like the latter stages of the week, you know uh, anything could happen. But, but I think the model output is increasingly shifting towards a continuation of cold or very cold weather through the second half of the week and into next weekend. Right, that's it for weekend forecast. Now, I think we'll remember this one for a little while, don't you? We're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day update, which will include all of the regular features. We'll have more about the possibility of that Scandinavian high re-strengthening um, next weekend. So more about that coming up uh, in, in the 10 to 14 day. And, um, of course, channel members live stream tonight. So we'll see channel members live uh, for that. And then uh, we're going to have Snow Watch uh, coming up for you, hopefully, if I've got time to. Anyway, Snow Watch uh, this evening. For the weekend forecast, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.